Hi guys, I hope you're well. Um, so this morning I was made aware of a particular named Chalice Dungeon located in Bloodborne that was made aware to me by a friend of mine who sent me a Kotaku article, which I will put in the description uh, below for you to check out. Basically, it's got an interesting name, as you can see. And we're going to go and check it out and see what happens. But apparently, it's a really good way of farming echoes that you might need to overcome specific challenges. Challenge, challenge dungeons tend to be a place in Bloodborne where you can do this. And there is a whole subreddit about it as well. So we're going to go and check out this dungeon and see what's going on. So to access this specific uh, false depth uh, dungeon, we need to put the code in to the graveyard here, just here. And we go to search by chalice uh, gif, glyph, and we type in the, the name of the of the specific chalice code, which is C U M M M F P K, and then click search. And then it says search using chalice glyph cum F P K. So we put that in, and there's the place name there. Uh, it's created by Trinspector. So thank you for creating this. Uh, very interestingly named uh, Chalice Dungeon. And we go Join Selected Dungeon. And that's how we get to there. So that's what we do there. Okay, so what I've uh, learned from the article is now that we've arrived, we just need to get close to the edge of this wall here. And you can see something dying over there on that health bar. And... How many souls does that give us? Wow, 83,489 souls. Well, not souls, echoes, because I'm playing Dark Souls at the moment, so I'm getting things confused. But that's amazing. So if I just did that, if I, if I go back over here now, if I go back over here, and I go out of there, if I go back to the Hunter's Dream, let's check this out. So if I go back to the Hunter's Dream, I visited the dungeon again, and I just got those souls again, which is amazing. So if you were stuck on a particular area, or boss, or you know any challenge in this game, you could just... Reload and reload and reload and get 83,429 souls each time, which is great if you're a bit stuck. Um, yeah, so why not? But let's check out the, the dungeon a little bit further. Let's see what else is when we go deeper into the dungeon. I've just noticed my health bar is ridiculously low, so I have to be careful about that. Uh, if there are any enemy enemies in the dungeon itself. Ritual blood, nice. Always, always needed. Oh. Shining coins. Okay. Gotcha. Damn it. Okay. That's a bit more of a challenge. So with a, such a minute health bar, it can cause us a bit of a challenge here. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Good, good. And there we have it. A chalice dungeon created by a Bloodborne player where you can farm echoes uh, over and over again uh, to raise your levels if you needed to overcome any particular challenges. Uh, as we can also see that you can also get a really small health bar, which means that you can be uh, killed very quickly. So in summary, you can get satisfy your need for echoes quite early on, but the deeper you go into the dungeon, it could finish you off. Thank you for checking out my video. If you've enjoyed this video today, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to join me on my Twitch channel, you can find me on twitch.tv forward slash crazy hazy. And I look forward to seeing you soon.